All right. So I was looking for something super weird to do with vocals over the breakdown of this new track. So I ended up recording this vocal layer with the mic input gain turned to max, mouth right up on the mic, and ended up getting this. It sounds cool, but way too harsh. So firstly, I want to clean it up with some compression and EQ. I've been using this all-in-one vocal processing plugin called Butch Vig Vocals. It's a great tool for something like this. So if I throw that on, add some compression, turn the de on, which will roll off some of the harsh high frequencies, and add back a little bit of air, which will bring some of those highs back in. And maybe roll off a little on the lows. This should sound a lot more tame. The next thing I'm going to do is add some reverb. So I'll just add a Valhalla Vintage Reverb. On this, I'll turn the decay down to around two and a half seconds. And I'll cut a little bit of the highs. And let's take a listen. Cool. I'm just going to group this so I can make this reverb a return by bringing the original track on top of it. So if I create a chain, and I can just name this verb, and I can name this OG, and now I can turn down the reverb. Sick. I just want to add a little bit of distortion to the reverb send. So I'll just throw on an overdrive, and let's add some distortion around 2K, and I'll bring down the Q just a little. Nice, that should be good. I'll bring the drive down a bit, and I'll turn the wetness to 100%. This should thicken up the reverb a little bit. Yeah, nice. I'll just add one more reverb on top of this. So I'll bring in a Valhalla room. Definitely going to bring the mix down, maybe around 10%. I'll cut the depth a little bit, and I'll bring the decay down to around one second. Nice. So this is where it gets interesting. If I add a little Alter Boy to this, we should get some really interesting results. Normally I use little Alter Boy as a format shifter for vocals, but when added on top of a distorted sound, you can get crazy sounds. Take a listen as I add some drive. <laughs> It almost adds a crunchiness to it, but also sounds more compressed. Now let's check out how dope the format knob sounds over some of these notes. It really starts to transform this vocal into a synth. So sick! So lastly, I'll just create some simple automations to the format knob to add that magical movement to the vocal. I'll turn on the automation lane. I'll add a little automation there. I'll do a tiny one there. And let's have this start going down around here. Let's have this go up all the way there. Bring that back down there. Let's check it out. Sick. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick tip. I think these effects sound super dope. I'll add the main vocals back on top now, and we can take one final listen. Thanks for watching, Muffins, and I'll see y'all soon. I don't wanna go for no one's head. I don't want that wig. I don't wanna see.